Chris, at hynny yn fyw i gynarfan ar gyfer cyhoeddi rhestr ferg o fy llyfr o ddweud neu 2016. Byddwn ni'n gallu ddim fyw yma ar diddalen Facebook, Asphalereca, Hefyd Periscope, felly plis rhannwch a hefyd ffrindiau chi'n rhywun. Welcome to Cynarfan for the live announcement of the shortlist for the Wales Book of the Year Prize 2016. We're, we're here live on the SLC's Facebook page and also on Periscope. Please share the link with as many people as you can. Fe'i llefydd Cymru sy'n gyfrifol am weinyddu llyfr y flwyddyn, y mae'r llyfr y gohebwyd yn 2015 wedi rhannu i dri categori, barddoniaeth, ffiglen a ffeithiol creadigol. A mi fydd ennill llyfr pob categori yn derbyn mil o bunnoedd ac ennill llyfr y brif wofyr yn derbyn tair mil o bunnoedd yn ychwanegol. Wales Book of the Year is administered by Literature Wales and the books that were published in 2015 are split into three categories. Poetry, fiction, and creative non-fiction, and each category winner will receive a prize of a thousand pounds, with the winner of the main prize receiving a further three thousand pounds. Quid yw'r beirniad eleni? Well, beirniad y wobr Gymraeg ydy Hugh Stevens, Llyon Frideri Roberts a Lleiki Roberts, a fydd falch iawn o ddweud bod Lleiki yma hefyd i hefyd, felly creu sat yn ei Lleiki. English Language Judges are Caroline Sanderson, Justin Albert, and Tony Prowl, and I'm very pleased to say that Tony yeah. is here with us today to announce the shortlist, so welcome Tony. Thank you. Felly Lleiki, dyna'n gyfarwydd iawn am y dwaith diddiol, Aldir, ond be'n Lleiki Roberts y beirniad, sy'n ti'n gwneud hau'r profiad, a be'n ti'n chwilio? Oh, dyn gwneud hau'r ffawr, o'r ddau 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 g
Oh, now the category of it is a clicky, and I'm the one three category. So now in the winner category, and then not that he's the bad one. Not not that. Um, ma Lenny on each other category feature and um, grief, young, 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 Bob Dim, I'm not sure if you're a kid, 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 I'm me, me, I think that I can have a trio of money. Nathan is in Catino, I think, the wife, the very mean, the same lady, but I'm hostile to the one. Kim, when you go up, Pam now ships the wedding curve of the Hester Verta, eating half is ever Hester Serverno. And do, have you the name of the great Nant de Marester, Del Fredolarina, and the Lini Gomion? Ond fel tri, fel panel o tri, dyma rhestr fel fyddol. Um, Dwi'n meddwl bod e, yn arwydd o gyfeithiant llyfr iach, uh, pan maen na uh, ddadle neu drafod, uh, does, no, does ar un o hwnnw ni'n gwrthwyn hebu, ddim ni'n o'r wrth rhestrwm yn Just bod na, oes bod na drafod wedi bod, a mae ni wrth gwrs yn beth da, ac yn beth iach o gnadwy, ac yn arwydd o'r amrywiaeth sy'n mynd. Um, ac is iawn ar, ar nawr. And, how you know the three of you as judges? How much of the discussion was the uh, you know was was oh, thank sorting God. out? Thank God for email. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, I think the uh, the challenges on on the English side are very similar to, to yours. I think uh, fiction in particular very strong. Um, fortunately, pretty well agreed on those anyway. Uh, the creative non-fiction is always a challenge, and they're so different. You know, I've stocked, I've stocked my shelves with rugby books. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, there's history books, biographies. You know, uh, stuff about the army recruitment in Wales. I know, but I mean, it's a real range of interest. Um, I'll come back later, but I mean, creative, creative non-fiction was the, the issue there. But uh, yeah, we were in pretty much constant. Communication, uh, usually by email. Um, one tries not to influence the other people too much, but you obviously say, "Oh, I've just read this. You know, look out for this one because mm -hmm. that's on my long list." We never got to it. Each of us got a kind of long list and then put them together. Well, shall we announce the short list? Let's sure. move on. Um, Lady Kate, Nanny Vechra, have a Hester can write a and a Gwarbur previous collaborator and Gwarbur left the bank. Uh, Nest Rau, gan yr Efid Hopwood, uh, Hel Llys yn y Glaw, Griffith Owen, ac Eiliadau Trygwyddol, Ken Williams. Yn un ta, y categori barddoniaeth yn ymlaen rhaid ta at yr Hester Figlen, ysgol ychwan yma. Uh, Nortig, gan John Gower, y Bwthyn, gan Caryl Lewis, a Riviera Lui, gan Dewi Trysor. Ac yn ola, Gwabr Ffeithiol Creidigol, y Brif Ysgol y Gwaredd. Pam Navi Cymru, Simon Brooks, East Aitlan Unig, Emyr Blaine Williams, a dyddiau o Oen Blaine Dŵr gan Griffith Aled Williams. Yn un teg, yna mewn llyfr Cymraeg. Um, Tony, the English shortlist, please. Uh, Shall we start with the Roland Mathias Poetry Award? Right. Um, Love Songs of Carbon by Philip Rose, Boy Running by Paul Henry, and Pattern Beyond Chance, Stephen Payne. The Chris Davis Trust Fiction Award. Nice right. please, Danny. The Girl in the Red Coat, Kate Hamer. We Don't Know What We're Doing by Thomas Morris. And I Saw a Man by Owen Shears. And finally, the Open University in Wales Creative Nonfiction. Right. Losing Israel by Jasmine Donahue. Woman Who Brings the Rain by Lynette Gramich and Wales Unchained by Daniel G. Williams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
All the details about the shortlist, the readings uh, from the books, they're on SOC's website and also on the Literature Wales website. Please go there straight after this broadcast. I'll shake it. Festive the video and Etta and Lenny when they go on the way to Chadbold. On Gaitis Holly, it's a dip. A Wobber and a Shabak Faithful Creatico. Man of Asta, more, more and very real. How would a tree and Lenny where do you care of Festive? Well, even to know, I guess I need to get into my farm. A rheumatic grandpa, a palio to the tower of Hikimut and Ergid and a pair of weather and Bab and Nagresum. A tree and that, well, he knew what. Mi oedd y, mae'r rhaid cyfarfer, mi, mi, mi oedd yr yw'n bump, um, mae'n siŵr pump yn mynd ar, lle oedd yn ni'n trafod a lot o oed trafod am enw, a dod o'r pump yn hynny wedyn i'r tair yma. Um, mae yna gwaith ysgol heigedd yma, um, gwaith, nid yn unig gwaith ysgol heigedd, ond gwaith sy'n chi gwybod yn ysgwyd y sylfaenu, sy'n ni'n dadle, um, yn ysgwyd sylfaenu ni'n cymeriad ni ohono ni'n hunen, un ohoni nhw mae yna arall wedyn sy'n gwaith ysgol heigedd um, ag eto, ond allan yn rhwydd bron mewn nofel detectif felly, a'r trydydd wedyn yn swyno yn chi gwybod yn cyfaredu'r darllenu, yn fod diddordeb yr awdur yn ein destun. Um, a hefyd yn rhyw lun o gofiant, felly mae'n elfen greatigol ar hynna. Dwi i'n meddwl chi fod, um, mae'r rhesymau dros i dewis nhw'n gwbl wahanol i'w gilydd, ond uh, y tair yn y pelio dwi iawn, dwi iawn iawn hefyd, a, a mwy na'r tair, mae'n rhaid dweud iawn. Mi fysa, yr hester fe'n meddwl fi gallu bod lot iawn hirach. Ond o'r gair creadigol na yn mm. holl bwysig eto i lenni? Well, um, Gan fod yn gategori sy yn, chi fod, uh, mae bob dim arall yn perthyn iddo, mae ffidlen o weld mae hwn yn cynnwys bob dim arall, felly chi fod, creadigol o bosib, ond unrhyw beth arall sy'n rhyfewn i'r categori yna, a mae bynnag reswn i fod yn gryf, felly well, chi fod, um, a mae yna rai nhw'n nhw fwy creadigol neu gydydd. Tony, the fiction category seems to be a very, very um, strong mm. one, uh, and then why did those three books uh, get to the shortlist? Well, there were, there were a number of very good books that didn't get to the shortlist, but uh, we were absolutely agreed on, on these three, I, I'm glad to say. Uh, it's pleasing that uh, two of them are first, yeah, yeah, first books, uh, Thomas Morris's collection of short stories and, and Kate Homer's uh, novels. What made them stand out? Um, all three of them involve the reader. Um, it was a simple a matter of, uh, you know, you want to read on to find out what happens, so I think that's true. Um, but they, you, you're taken into that, that world, um, and it's, a, it's our world, they're, they're all set, they're contemporary novels, they're set in our ordinary world, uh, but in, in many ways they transform it, they, they, they take it beyond the ordinary. Um, all three of the works are, are just beautifully written, um, they, they make you see afresh, and as I say, each of these three made, yeah, and, and I think it's fair to say, an immediate impact, certainly on me. Uh, you know, this was quality writing in all three of them. It's a really good one for Shaker, who won a Cohibiad and Miss Gothena. Right, so I will watch them, Dina. Oh, mi fydd, mi fydd, dwi'n cedi bod mae'n her mewn gwirionedd i ailarllen, neu mae'n her i lyfr ar un ystyr i chi i afel yn y darllenydd, ar yr ail darllenydd a trydydd ar bedwerth y darllenydd. Mae'n bosib iawn, fydd yna newid barn yn ddyna a felly un o'r llyfrau yma ni. Fydd yna nhw yn cynnig i hunain i'r ddadraddau i gilydd i ail a trydydd ar llenyddiad. Ond fe ddim yn ddorog, wel, dwi'n edrych mlaen yn fawr yn beth bynnag achos yn aml iawn mae'r wynt a cymryd mwy o llenyddiad a ail a trydydd ar llenyddiad. Gwych. Wel, diolch o gael yn tiond y gwrn ni trydydd chi o'r lleig chi. We've got to mention a woman who brings the rain. Uh, the first ebook yes. to to arrive and to to make it onto a short list. Yes. And it's only fifty pages long, <laughs> Tony. Yes, um, it now, is. What was so special about this book? Oh, uh, we were very conscious that this is creative nonfiction. We're not talking about you know the language should go beyond the functional. Uh, this book is short, but it is quite beautiful. Uh, it's Kate Elena Granich lived for a spell in rural Japan. 
and she encounters, she's a speaking Welsh woman, she encounters a culture that is completely unfamiliar, completely alien, and she sees it with a poet's eye. She sees it precisely and vitally. Um, there are interesting parallels. Um, the area she's in, which is northern Japan, uh, there was a culture called the Ainu, and they've been, like, their whole culture has been, in a sense, displaced or taken over. Um, face names have changed uh, by the main body of Japan. And I'll, she doesn't make the connection, but I make the connections. There are echoes there of a situation which we're not unfamiliar with. Um, but above all, I think it was sheer beauty of the writing. She meets this unfamiliarity with all her imaginative nerve ends open, and, and the effect is, I think, quite remarkable. Uh, one of my uh, fellow judges said that it reminded her of a, a piece of netsuke, I don't know if you know those in intricately small pieces of carving, uh, wood or ivory, which you get in Japan. And I think that's a, there's a precision there. It is short, and you know we we thought hard about what we were doing, um, but that is such a rich and various category um, that I wouldn't put my money on this one. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm looking forward very much to reading the book. Thank you very much for your company, Chloe, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again uh, in July. But he didn't need to come Google Pan now, Shiver, and he didn't go with Shiver to where he could have a hashtag viral and he would have been better than him, but she knew she was a Please call it Hevid, but I can say Hebrew English, I just hope they will hear and more than Barna Bobble, Golog, Shikwech, Dem. What do you think of the shortlist? Please read these books, uh, join the debate, and uh, remember that you can also vote for your favourite book, the Wales Arts Review uh, People's Choice Award. I can all attend Manilion and Nosomo Brio and Carichanella Lenny are an Imrather Higan of Biscor Fenab and a Red House and Merthyr Tiddle. Neither the Niano, when I cross a Maori he headed. My host Manilion and Castellier are City Bruni Takana and Arwevan at Shenaviet Kimri. The award ceremony this year will be held on the 21st of July at the Red House in Merthyr Tidville. Uh, tickets are available and all the information you need on the Literature Wales website. So a quick reminder of who's on the shortlist this year. Philip Gross, Paul Henry and Stephen Payne for poetry. Thomas Morris, Kate Hamer and Owen Shears for fiction. And Jasmine Donahue, Daniel G. Williams and Elinard Gramid for creative non-fiction. Congratulations to all the authors and publishers and thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy the reading. Griffith Owen, Mareri Dockwood, a Ken Williams, Ami Llyfred Bargoniaeth, John Gower, Dewi Prisfor, a Carol Lewis, Ami Novella, ac i Griffith Aled Williams, Simon Brooks, ac Emyr Glyn Williams, Ami Llyfred, Theithio Gredigol. Diolch chi ymwch cwmni, mwynhewch y darllen, mae'n i weld chi ymwys gorffennaf. Diolch yn fawr.